We get many guests for our Zoom meetings and sometimes we don't know who they are or how to contact them. Wouldn't it be a great idea if we could share a survey like this when they leave the meeting and request them to share their feedback and their contact details? Well, guess what? Zoom just released an update to their app that allows you to do exactly that. Let me show you how. As we do with most things in Zoom, it all starts by going to your Zoom profile, log into your Zoom account, and enable the right settings to make the magic happen. Similar to polls, the survey option is limited to the Zoom Pro account only. If you are using the free version, you won't be able to use surveys. To enable surveys for your meeting, scroll down till you find this option display end of meeting experience feedback survey. By default, it will be disabled. Click and enable it. You can decide to do this for every meeting that you run or randomly as determined by Zoom. In our case, let's leave it for every meeting. Next, let us schedule a meeting. Click on schedule a meeting and provide the meeting information. I won't go into the details of scheduling. I assume all of you know how to schedule a Zoom meeting. In this example, I have created a two hour meeting. Let me click on the save button. Once you save your meeting, scroll down. You'll find a new option in your meeting now called survey. Click on it. You can create two types of surveys. The first option is to use the built-in functionality of Zoom to create your survey. And the second option is to use a third party tool like SurveyMonkey, Google Forms. Each have their benefits and disadvantages. I will explain both. Let's start with the built-in Zoom survey. To proceed, click on this option, create new survey. A Zoom survey works almost like a Zoom poll. If you have created polls in Zoom, you will be right at home with the Zoom surveys. Let's say I want the participant to rate our meeting. I will ask a question. How would you rate our meeting today? When we are creating a survey question, we have a new option in Zoom called the rating scale, where we can set a scale from one to a certain number. In this case, for example, 10. One would indicate that the participant disliked the meeting and a 10 would indicate that the person liked the meeting very much. If we keep this checkbox required, it indicates that this response must be submitted for the survey to be considered complete. To add a new question, simply click on add question. Let's say we want the participant to provide additional feedback. In this case, I have phrased the question as please provide your feedback, things we did well, things we can improve. This question will not be a rating scale. We want the person to type his response. So the right choice here is the long answer. We can limit the number of characters that he can type for this response. In this case, the maximum characters is set to 200. I can make it 500. This means the response that the person can type can be anything between one character to 500 characters. Let me remove this option to indicate that this response is not mandatory. It is an optional field. If the person wants to enter something, he can enter it. If he leaves it blank, it's fine, the survey will still be considered as complete. If you want to collect additional information from the participant, such as his name or email, you can do that by clicking on add question. This field will capture the name of the participant. The type will also be a long answer, but we don't need it to be 200 characters. We can make it 50 characters. Also, I will remove this checkbox so that the name is also optional. If the participant wants to leave the name, it's fine. If they don't want to leave the name, that's fine too. Finally, I want to collect the email ID. I'll do the same thing, add a question. This field will also be a long answer and 50 characters should be enough for email ID too. Also, let's make it optional in case the person doesn't want to provide the email ID, they can still complete the survey. Finally, click on these three dots to indicate whether the survey should be anonymous or not. Personally, I believe all surveys should be anonymous. That ensures that you get the most honest feedback on your survey. Once you're satisfied, click on the save button.
To see how this survey will look when it is launched, click on the preview button. This will give you a preview of what the participant will see when the survey is launched. As you can see, we have a rating scale and that is a mandatory response. All the other responses are optional. If you are satisfied, click on the close button. If you want to make any changes to the survey, click on the edit button and make your changes. You can change the questions. You can move the questions up or down by clicking on this option here. You can delete a question if you don't want it. Once you have made all the changes, click on the save button and you are done. We have created a survey for our meeting. Let's see how they work. I will join the meeting for which surveys are enabled. Click on join a meeting. Give the meeting ID and your name and click the join button. If you have been provided a direct link to join the meeting, you could do that too. You may be required to enter the meeting passcode. If so, enter that and click join meeting. Here I'm in a Zoom meeting. Let's say I have participated in the meeting. Everything went fine. Now it is time to leave the Zoom meeting. I will click on the leave button and click leave meeting. This will open up the Zoom survey that we had created for this meeting. Let me provide my feedback. I like the meeting, but I don't want to score it 10 out of 10. Let's score it 8 out of 10. I will give my additional feedback. Let's say I love the workshops and the interactions, but the meeting went 10 minutes beyond schedule. That's why I gave an 8 out of 10. I don't mind providing my name. But let's say I'm not comfortable providing the email ID and because it is not a mandatory field, I can complete this survey without providing that information. Click submit when you are done and your survey has been submitted. Once the meeting is over, we can go and extract the survey report. To extract the survey report, go to your account management, select reports and select meeting. We now have a new option for generating reports called survey report. Click on it. Enter the meeting dates that you want to search and click on the search button. As we can see, this is the meeting that we had conducted, challenges meeting number 500. There were three attendees. Click on the generate button to generate your survey report. This will take you to the report queue, which shows you that there is a survey report for this meeting. Click on download. The report will be downloaded as an Excel file. Click here to open the Excel file. And we have a nice Excel file with all the feedback that we have received from the participants. You can use this report to analyze the feedback to identify areas of improvement. And if the participants have provided their contact details, you can contact the participants for future meetings. Finally, I want to touch upon external surveys. Zoom supports external surveys created using dedicated platforms such as SurveyMonkey or Google Forms. To see how we can link external surveys to our Zoom meetings, I have created a new meeting. Let me scroll down and click on the survey option. And this time I will use this option, use a third party survey. All I have to do is paste the link to my survey in this box. I won't go into the details of creating external surveys. If you want to learn how to create professional looking surveys using Google Forms, I have a video, link is in the video description, check it out. Here is a survey that I created using Google Forms. If I want to use this in my Zoom meetings, all I have to do is click on the send button here, click on the link and it will generate for me a link to this survey. Click this link to make the URL short and then click copy. Go to your Zoom setup and paste the link here and click on the save button. If you want to see how the survey will look to the participants, click on the preview button and this is what the participants will see when they want to complete the survey. If you are wondering which survey type should you use, should you use a Zoom survey or should you use an external survey, here are my thoughts. Zoom surveys are easy to set up. You create a meeting, you create a survey, you enter your questions and you are done. And secondly, because the surveys are integrated with Zoom, when the participant leaves the meeting, he directly lands on the survey page and there is a high likelihood that you will get feedback from the participants. If you want to look at the disadvantages of Zoom surveys, the first is the limited functionality. 
Zoom is not a survey platform. It doesn't have the rich functionality that's available in dedicated platforms such as SurveyMonkey or Google Forms. And the second and most important challenge that you may face is that these surveys must be set up for every meeting that you conduct. If you look at the external surveys, they have a number of advantages. First of all, you can create highly professional surveys using branding, images and rich functionality that is available in this dedicated survey platforms. The other significant advantage is that you need to create these surveys only once and you can use the same link for every Zoom meeting. And finally, because they are dedicated survey platforms, you will be able to analyze your data much more comprehensively than you can do with the Zoom surveys. There is one big problem when using external surveys. When the participant exits the meeting, he gets a big warning message saying that you are now being redirected to an external link. And that might deter the participant from clicking on the link to complete the survey. If you are going to implement surveys in your Zoom meetings, which survey type would you prefer? Share your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe. I appreciate the love.